Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Katie's Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. With me is one of my students, Mr. Dave Harris, and he's going to give me a hand in this quick video. And in this video, we're talking about doing a 25-degree angle sidestep with a counter strike. Now, if you're someone who may have an injury or you're a lot older to where you can't move a lot of steps, but you're able to get a good one-two motion movement to get you going in a different direction, then this step's gonna help. Now, Mr. Dave's gonna take a defensive or a fine stance, even just an aggressive stance. Now, I have the tip on the floor. Now understand, if I have an idea this is happening, I'll have my cane up and moving. But if I happen to be here, let's say he has his hands down right now, and I see he's getting a little bit more, you know, ticked off. I wanna keep him, I wanna keep him in that green zone, but if he ends up, he's in my yellow zone, if he was to take a step and punch, go right here, sir. Boom, he's gonna get me. Go back. And if he, take a, if he steps off his back foot and punches, go ahead, he's still gonna hit me. So from here, I wanna be able to take a 25 degree angled step and punch. I just don't wanna go sideways, because, and I'll show you why. As he steps in, go ahead, sir. I can strike to the head. As he steps in, I can strike to the midsection. Now let's say he steps with more power and he comes off that back foot. I can go side up. That's why we're using the foam cane. I can strike to the head. He comes in again. I can strike with a nice bayonet strike to the ribs. So that 25 degree angle, I could do it backwards too. If he steps in, I can step backwards and boom. And if he does the big step with the back foot, same thing. I'm creating distance, but I like the stepping inward if I can because there's more I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna move a little faster. Let's say you have the ability to move a little faster and I'm gonna hit you a couple times and not super hard. So as he comes in, boom, boom, and boom. And let's say he steps off the back foot with a lot of power. Boom, 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 boom. Just moving around. Obviously I'm not hitting him hard because I have a foam cane, I don't even want to whack him super hard because it'll hurt. But from all I want to be able to do is get myself off target. So we're going to go back to where he steps in with that big punch and wants to hit me. I step 25 degree angle and that puts me right here in his back. Come back. Step again, same thing, sir. I can step to his sideways and that puts me a little bit back, but that puts him here. I kind of want to be back here more. Now, again, you're having that injury. You know you can get at least a good step shift, but you may not get more steps than that. That's fine. Get yourself, again, he has that big step. He comes in, pop that head. Why am I going to go to the head? I can control the hit power I want. Now, understand, if I do hit somebody in the head, there's that strong possibility of serious injury, and I could kill them. But if I have injuries where I cannot outrun Mr. Dave and I have nobody around to help me, that might be one of my one option to stun him pretty good. Now, if I have the ability to move more and I don't really have to go topside to his head, as he steps in, I can go to the legs. Whether I'm catching that leg or catching that leg. Again, sir, I can go with a nice shot to the ribs and then follow that up with something. But again, we're talking about if you don't have good mobility, you know you can get at least a good step shift, but you're not gonna be able to run very far. You may not have much option. So one more time, he's here to the back of the head. If I can get that movement, go ahead, sir, and take that one shift angle, that puts him basically to my side, almost behind me. And as I strike him, I'm gonna turn and I can follow up <clears throat> with another strike to his leg. So take that technique, as I say, practice, practice it, make it your own. Always remember, you have your forward step, if you have your backward step, and you have your side steps. Don't forget 25 degree angle stepping. And you can step this way too. If I was here and he switches his feet, if he's going to step off that back leg and he comes through, I can shift, move, and I can still catch him. 
So work this technique, as I always say, make it your own. Practice it. Thank you, Mr. Dave. And we'll see everybody really soon. Good night.